there swarmers so great to have you back in the hive so pretty much unless you've been living under a rock you've probably heard about a little something called climate change but did you know that our planet's climate has been changing for billions of years? Around 4.6 billion years ago, when the Earth was first formed and the surface was molten, the temperature was upwards of 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. And during the many ice ages since then, the planet has experienced the complete other end of the temperature spectrum, with sub-zero freezing temperatures. These changes occurred over hundreds of millions to billions of years as a result of our changing climate. The first evidence scientists found of life on our planet dates back 3.9 billion years ago, during the Archaean Eon. This life that emerged is believed to be photosynthetic, but the climate was much different than today's. Our sun was much dimmer, around 70% solar luminosity compared to present day conditions. This should have meant the resulting surface temperature would be below zero, but scientists have found evidence of liquid water from this period. To explain this, scientists have hypothesized that a greenhouse effect was in place that raised CO2 levels 100 to 1000 times above today's levels, which even with less energy from the sun would have warmed the earth enough to allow for the presence of liquid water. This earliest evidence of the earth's climate was discovered within the earth's crust dating to around 3.7 billion years ago, and it provides us with evidence of rain and rivers. And while we don't know the exact temperature from this, we do know that it had to be somewhere between zero and 100 degrees Celsius for flowing water to have existed. The atmosphere during that time was heavily methanic until 2.4 billion years ago, when for the next 230 million years, Earth's atmosphere quickly transformed from anoxic to closer to today's state. Around the same time, scientists have found evidence of the first ice age occurring, and it does follow that the removal of methane and addition of oxygen and carbon dioxide into our atmosphere was the cause, as well as the rapid decline of methane-producing microbes being replaced with organisms exhaling oxygen. Fortunately, the greenhouse effect from billions of years ago subsided with the changing atmosphere, because our sun has increased its heat output by 40%. And this is the major concern for scientists if global emissions continue to increase. Looking at our relatively shorter history, even thousands of years of data can show us a direct correlation between the amount of carbon in our atmosphere and glacial volume on our planet. Since the last ice age ended, about 11,700 years ago, our Earth has had a rise in the carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, which is consistent with Earth's climatic history. But in the last 800,000 years, the amount of carbon dioxide has peaked at 300 ppm, or parts per million, only once. While since only the 1800s, we have reached a level of 400 ppm. Do we have a record of this occurring before? Yes, about 400 million years ago, when our planet was three degrees warmer and the sea levels much higher than today. Studying billions of years of our changing climate helps scientists to predict climate trends based on carbon emissions. And what becomes clear is that increased atmospheric carbon dioxide indicates a warmer planet with higher sea levels. And right now, an increase in our sea level would affect a huge portion of our habitable landmass, along with all the life on it, and be only one of the consequences of the current climate change trend. Thank you, as always, for joining us, Swarmers. It's incredible to think how short humans have been around on the Earth's timeline, but how much we have impacted our planet. If you like what you hear here in The Hive, then please give us a like, a share, and subscribe to stay abuzz with the news from The Hive. Thanks everybody, stay safe and stay sustainable. We'll see you next time.